Israeli aquaculture has gone from almost non-existent to world-class in little over two decades. Pioneering methods for breeding and growing fish in captivity have been established by fish farmers in this nation, and its companies are at the forefront of creating cutting-edge technologies to make fish farming more effective and sustainable. Because of all of these reasons, Israel has now become one of the world's largest exporters of farmed fish. Israel's aquaculture sector is expanding and has the potential to become a global leader. Fishing and fish farming has a long and rich history in the nation. Israel now houses some of the world's most advanced and forward-thinking aquaculture facilities. Israel's natural fish populations were declining, so the nation turned to aquaculture to help replenish those populations. A novel approach to producing and rearing fish in captivity was developed in Israel in the 1950s. As a result of these innovations, Israel is now among the world's top producers of farmed fish. Aquaculture now provides billions in revenue and thousands of jobs in Israel. Due to its year-round warmth and abundant sunshine, this nation is an excellent location for fish farming. Israeli fish farmers are also trying to make their sector more environmentally friendly. They're using a number of strategies to maximize output while decreasing waste. Recirculating aquaculture systems are used for sustainable fish farming. Farmers may reduce their water use and environmental impact by using RAS. Improved water quality is critical to the survival of the fish, and this is another benefit of the systems. When it comes to sustainability, one strategy used by Israel's fish farms is to cultivate indigenous fish species. In contrast to non-native fish species, these fish thrive in the area with no maintenance. Along with this, another added benefit is that native species are often more disease-resistant, and there is also a cutting down on the needs for antibiotics and other chemical treatments for the water supply, which is good for the environment. Israel's aquaculture sector is making strides towards sustainability. Israel's fish farming industry is amongst the oldest in the world. Israel's first fish farm opened in the 50s, and the nation now has over 200 of them. Israel's fish farms cultivate a wide range of fish species, from tilapia and carp to catfish. Drought and climate change have been problematic in recent years for Israeli fish growers. They have, however, persisted in their quest for innovation, coming up with novel approaches to overcome any difficulties. The result is a thriving fish farming business in Israel, which seems set to expand even more in the years ahead. Israel's fish farms swiftly grew into a major economic sector, and now their products are among the country's most popular agricultural exports. Israeli households rely heavily on the money they make from aquaculture, which is why it's so important to the country's economy. Rural regions, where unemployment rates are often higher, have benefited greatly from the industry's job creation. Israel's food supply and economic stability has also benefited greatly from the country's thriving fish farming industry. The Israeli economy relies heavily on the sale of aquaculture goods to markets in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Weather is the nation's most serious challenge, and it hurts fish farms. So, how do Israel's fish farms flourish in arid conditions? And how are they producing so much? It may come as a surprise that Israel, with an annual average rainfall of fewer than 10 inches and strict regulation of water resources, has become a global leader in fish breeding. Yet, that is precisely what has happened. Israeli fish farms are advancing quickly because they maximize the use of every drop of water using cutting-edge technology. And because of this, the sector has flourished to the point that it now supplies a large proportion of Israel's fish needs and earns over $200 million annually from exports. Effective management and preparation are crucial to achieving any goal. The Israeli aquaculture industry is founded on knowledge of the hydrological cycle and the utilization of reclaimed water from sewage treatment facilities and other sources. Aquaculture in Israel is a relatively new industry that has been developing rapidly in recent years. Because of its arid climate and scarcity of freshwater resources, 
the nation is ideal for the growth of this sector. Since Israel's water supply started to dry up in the early 2000s, the aquaculture business there has been booming. The administration finally recognized they needed to diversify their water supply, so they started desalinizing ocean water. Israel has mastered the art of desalination, or the removal of salt from seawater. Desalinated water production has also skyrocketed in recent years, and Israel is now among the global leaders. This water is put to many different uses, including in the food and beverage industries. About 40% of the country's water supply comes from desalination facilities. Approximately 32,000 metric tons of fish are harvested annually from Israel's 60-plus commercial fish farms. From the modest output of 5,000 metric tons in the year 2000, this is a significant improvement. Tilapia, carp, and baramundi are the three most common farmed fish in Israel. Considerable progress has been made thanks in large part to the use of new technologies. A great number of fish may now be used with less space using these new technologies. Israeli fish farms have used RAS and other cutting-edge methods such as switching to algae as fish food rather than pellets. Israel has been looking at innovative fish farming techniques as a means of increasing output and satisfying rising consumer demand for seafood in recent years. Intensive pond culture is yet another technique used, and it entails stocking ponds with a dense population of fish and nurturing them to full maturity. This technique may be employed in places with little water where open field aquaculture is impractical due to its high land requirements. These strategies have contributed to Israel's increased fish output in recent years, and it's anticipated that they will continue to be effective in satisfying the country's seafood demands in the years to come. Poland has just recently constructed Europe's biggest fish farm, and it is using cutting-edge Israeli technology to increase production. Because of their appetite for aquatic vegetation, tilapia fish farms may contribute to the sanitation of rivers and lakes. According to the Times of Israel, the Israeli firm Aquamalf Aquaculture Technologies has constructed the fish farm in Poland using a technology that can grow fish under regulated temperature settings regardless of the weather or environment, reducing energy expenditures by around 70%. In theory, 1,200 tons of tilapia per year may be harvested from the 24,000-square-foot building, which is very impressive. The Israeli company Aquamoff is the biggest producer of tilapia in the world. Aquamoff began operations in 1998 and has since grown to employ over 1,000 people and produce more than 50,000 tons of fish per year. The success of the firm may be attributed in part to the fact that it makes use of innovative technologies and places a strong emphasis on quality control. Over 30 nations across the globe are already stocking Aquamov's goods in their stores. Aquamov has also created a new technology that it claims will assist farmers to increase output while decreasing costs and negative effects on the environment. The fish are kept alive and well by the company's system thanks to an intricate piping system buried under the earth, which provides water and oxygen to the fish. The company says that water use may be cut by as much as 90% compared to conventional aquaculture systems and that less energy is required to run the system. A range of fish, from tilapia to salmon and trout, can be farmed using Aquamov's method, the company claims. A group of Israeli farmers is collaborating with the firm now to put the technology to the test. Because of these cutting-edge technologies, huge knowledge, and strong devotion to this sector, Israel has become the most advanced nation in the field of aquaculture and fish farming. They have shown excellence for other nations to emulate, and they remain at the forefront of technological advancement. Their achievements serve as an example for other countries that are working to enhance aquaculture techniques in their own countries.